Part one of this talk uses Roth's story as a window into Slovak-Jewish relations as they existed in interwar Czechoslovakia under the long shadow cast by the old kingdom of Hungary. Benjamin Eichler was the president of the Central Association of Jewish Religious Communities, or UJNO, in post-war Slovakia from 1955 until he was forced to step down in 1972 due to pressure from the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia and subsequently emigrated to Canada. Born in 1908, six years before the outbreak of the First World War, um, born in Snina in Eastern Slovakia, Eichler received a traditional Jewish boy's education from the age of three. What I learned there as an eight to 10 year old kid, he wrote in his memoirs in Toronto in 1977, I know even today, and today, when I read with great fluency from the text of the Torah, I built the foundation then 60 years ago. Beyond his traditional upbringing, his education reflected the potential of the interwar Czechoslovak Republic. He attended a gymnasium in Bratislava in Hungarian, but then switched to German language schools in Brno, and then to another German language school in Lavocha, where he completed his exams, Maturita, in German. His success opened up the possibility for study at Charles University in Prague in Czech, where he trained to practice law, which he did from about 1931 until he was mobilized under President Benesha's 1938 order. After escaping from military service, he survived in hiding in Slovakia, as did the majority of the small percentage of Slovak Jews who survived the war. 